Hello. Hello. Hi. Today we look at how things work. For example, do you know how a fax machine works? Or this. Do you know how this works, Natalie? What is it? A sifter. A sifter? For sifting flour. Let's go to MAP Advertising and meet Carl Schiller. Carl is a client and a friend of Julia Marsh. He's from Munich in Germany. This is his first visit to London. And I, I wanted to give you these brochures before tomorrow's meeting. Oh, and I have a present for you. A present? For me? Yes. Carl. Oh. Do you like it? Yes, it's great. Thank you very much. Ah. Now, where does this go? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Here. Oh, and it has a radio, too. <laughs> How does it work? Uh, there's a switch there. Yes, it says CD this way and radio that way. Mm -hmm. And you need these batteries. <laughs> and this, a CD to help you learn German. Thanks again, Carl. You're very kind. You're welcome. Uh, now I must go and find the hotel. Oh, I can help you there. There's a very nice hotel near where I live, in Wimbledon. Wimbledon? Yes, it's about six miles, ten kilometers from the center of town. But it's a lovely area. Fine. OK. I'll book a room for you, and then I'll tell you how to get there. Thanks. Julia liked her present. She asked two questions, one about the headphones and one about the radio. Where does this go? How does it work? Now let's join Rachel and Rita at MAP Advertising. Rachel has two letters she wants to fax, but she doesn't know how to use the fax machine. How does it work? It's easy. I'll show you. First, put the letter in here, like this. OK? Uh -huh. Next, press this button, the button with tell. For telephone. Then, type in the fax number. What is it? 0279-450-767. Then, wait for the message online, here. And that's it. Got it? Yes, I think so. Can I try now? Of course. First, put the letter in here. Next, press this button. First. Next. Then. Words you use to show that one action comes after another. First, put the letter in here. Next, press this button. Then, type in the fax number. Mum, food. Come back! Stop! Now, listen to me! 
Hey! Never, never, never go near that. Is that clear? Do you understand? Yes, Mum. What is that? That's a mouse trap. What does it do? It kills mice. How does it work? I'll show you. Don't stand there. Move back. Good. Now watch. First, touch the cheese. Next, push down. Oh. Then, eat the cheese. The mother mouse told her baby not to go near a mouse trap. Never, never, never. Then she asked two questions. Is that clear? Do you understand? Carl Schiller is at his hotel in Wimbledon. It's the hotel that Julia recommended. It's cold in here. How do you turn on the heating? The heating is on, sir. But you're right, it is cold. There's a thermostat here on the wall. I'll turn it up. Thank you. Sir, there's something wrong with the TV. It doesn't work. You have to press this button. Aha. Uh -huh. The, um, the light switches are here, this turns on your main light, and this turns on the bedside lights. And this is your radio and alarm clock. Thank you. Will that be all, sir? Yes, that's fine. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your stay. There were some important words there, like turn on. You turn on the light. You turn on the central heating. If the room is too cold, you turn up the heating using the thermostat. And if it's too hot, you turn it down. How do you turn on the heating? How do you turn on the heating? I'll turn it up. I'll turn it up. There's something wrong with the TV. Something wrong. It doesn't work. Mildred Cookson is a miller at an old water mill on the River Thames. The mill turns grain into flour for making bread and cakes. But how does the mill work? The water mill is actually powered by this water wheel here. And that, in turn, moves all the machinery inside the mill. The grain is brought to the mill in sacks, and I have to get it up from the ground floor up into the roof to store it. Then, when the water wheel starts up, the grain can flow down from where it is on the top floor onto the stone floor where the millstones are, into the millstones. This is a set of millstones without the covering on. The top stone here that goes round and the bottom stone set in the floor that doesn't move. Here is the shoe and here is the damsel. The damsel turns with the top stone and the grain can flow down the shoe past the damsel and into the middle of the millstone here. The 
The grain then travels outwards in between the two millstones, being turned slowly into flour as it reaches the edge and gets pushed down the hole in the floor down to the flour bags below. How does this flour sifter work, Kevin? It's easy. First, you hold it like this. Next, you put in the flour. And then you do this. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for today. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.